We've been asked a million times if Colossus Fitness is gonna be opening a gym. Well, here's your answer. Yo, legit though, this is so sick. So they're just like treadmills and they have YouTube. Check this, bro. Look who it is. Hey. We're watching ourselves. This is convenient, bro. If you guys like watching YouTube videos on treadmills, bro, I, I'm gonna actually do some serious cardio. Yeah. Maybe I'll do physique comp because of this. Should we show them this uh, gym tour though? Yeah. Let's do it. Sup, dude? Sup, sup, dude? What we got here, pal? Yeah, so I guess this is gonna be our little ballet studio where we're gonna do our stretching and whatnot. But, uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of weight trees here, some random construction taking place. Uh, and yeah, here's where- Finishing up, this is the studio number one. No skimping out here. A ton of cables, I love it. All right, guys, this is this is my spot. This is where I'll be. Come here. You want to find me? Here she is. Still getting started. Uh, right here, we're gonna have like some boxing equipment. Uh, I like to box for cardio a ton, so speed bag set up here. Down here, we're gonna get all the boxing, punching, kicking, whatever you want to call them, bags. So we're gonna have a nice setup there. Nice rack here. Really hoping that we'll get a Texas bar up in here. Be able to pull. 700. This will be the spot. The 700 pound deadlift. Ooh. Mark my words. We have like all this TRX stuff. It's pretty cool. Like, as you guys know, in the Pro Series, we're trying to utilize more like aesthetic athletic training. So we're trying to get that full degree of everything. So you can come in here and do some hit. And some rope pulls is a really good option. A lot of this new age training stuff. So that's something to look forward to. All like monkey bars, all that good stuff. This room is gonna be insane. We're gonna film a lot of good videos in here. Uh, yo, let's show them those dumbbells, dude. The what? The oh, dumbbells, bro. What's oh, right. dude? You know what I'm saying? What's that, dude? <laughs> Alright, bro. Some nice space. Jeez. All these dumbbells right here. Just waiting on that rack. We had a snowstorm. All the way up to 130s. Uh, That's kind of when I curl, so we'll be okay. Yo, hit a set. Hit it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not happening. Huge wrap. Best be cleaning up. None of that nonsense here. Oh, there we go. Everyone must re wrap their weights here. This is going to be like the machine area, all your go to's. A lot of hammer strength machines. Hammer strength machines. Shout out to them. Are by far my favorite. I love play loaded. As much as I do like cables, there's nothing like hitting a mid row nice and heavy with a play loaded machine. Some nice leg press. There'll be a lot of like, I'm guessing like play trees all around from here. It's nice to have really fresh new machines, new plates, new everything. Hex plates, they're solid, they're new. Uh, we got some new cardio equipment here. And this is like your main floor kind of area. This is my favorite water machine. So it tells you how many people have used it, how much it's eliminated. As per here, which is super legit. Oh yeah. Here is another completely empty room. Bunch of cardio machines. Big here. studio. So lots of so destruction much, going on. So much space here to like actually film dope videos and just like not be too crowded, not too you know cluttered in one space. So we're super pumped for this. All right, upstairs. Yeah, show my uh, cardio. Nice bikes. We got more coming down there. You can see all the cables. Um, just everything you need, nothing you don't. Lift pulls, more bikes, more lift pulls. Probably some treadmills hidden right there. Brand new treadmills there. All brand new equipment. This stuff is beautiful. This gym is lit. Uh, there's a couple other like small rooms that I'm sure you'll see over time, but this place is unreal. But as you guys guess, it's not ours. Uh, we're gonna be training here. It's no one's really using it yet. The owner's a beauty. He said it's cool if we film here, especially in that studio. So that's probably gonna be our home for the next little while. We're gonna make some gains. Uh, really enjoy this gym environment. He said it's a gym for training, so it takes away from that commercial, crappy gym aspect. It's really close and relative to where we are. So we're gonna be killing it here. Well, let's jump into that Q and A. I'm so pumped for this, man. It's gonna be unreal. Bro. Look at that. Lift. 
but to answer that first question, question we've been asked so many times, long term, yeah, we'd like to open a gym. It's something that's definitely in our goals, but it's a super expensive process. It's a really monotonous process to order everything, have a lot of accountability, a lot of liability issues. So it's not something we foresee right now, especially when we have access to things. We'd like to get more into in-person personal training and like we really like teaching and educating right now and doing our own competitions and training and educating ourselves before we go and do something really big that kind of locks us down and forces us to stay in one spot, if that makes sense. From United Kingdom, do you guys have any plans to visit the UK in the future? Would love to meet you guys. Yo, one sec. Look how fired up your nipple is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I mean, it's not cold, dude. It's it's sure. <laughs> uh, we would honestly love to go to the UK. Hopefully, soon times we'll get sent out there once we grow um, and hit up some expos. I know body power takes place there, so we don't have any specific plan to get out there, but we definitely would like to within the next few years. <laughs> so we find that Q&As get really boring if you just sit against the wall and talk. So we're trying to do it like in between our sets. Uh, we're just hitting arms. It's like our rest day, so we're in this gym, we may as well do something. There's no barbells yet, so that's why we're waiting, but we're probably gonna get some nitty gritty sessions in here. It's like serious music, just like killing it. So be on the lookout. Uh, ooh, here's a nice big one. I subscribed a few months ago, can't stress how much I like your content and how real you are, which is very real these days in the fitness community. Very rare, right? Very true. Um, I could research this myself on your channel all the videos, but limited time. I don't blame you, dude. So how did you guys meet? How do you know each other? All right, so I was just walking down the road one day, and I, I saw some guy look kind of homeless. He was in a bus shelter. And I was like, you mean Jack? Yeah, but like he's pretty Jack. And I'm like, dude, do you lift? Like, you look pretty cool. And there was this guy. He was just lying in there, <laughs> met up, got him, and guess what? He reaches down, lifts up a leash, tied to a friggin' lion, the lion roars, almost kills me. And he goes, this is my this is my lion, Colossus. And I'm like, what? Colossus fit? And then that's how it got started. <laughs> you wanna tell him the real story, pal? Uh, we used to play hockey back in the day. Uh, we were some beauty buds. Started lifting for fun in uni, and uh, it's really how she popped. I, I was like, let's film this for jokes. Kind of started it maybe just under two years ago, officially. And even so, we screwed around for maybe six months. I would not say we actually had a channel. It was more like, watch us lift. But then the channel probably about just over a year ago became a real thing and we put a lot of time and we're, we are where we are today. I think it's pretty decent. Thanks for all the support and watching our shenanigans. Next question we actually got uh, is, have you guys ever felt like giving up? I'm assuming it's relating to Colossus Fitness and our fitness aspirations. And I'm gonna say as hard as things may get sometimes, like. I can't say I ever have. You just gotta push through those obstacles. Uh, it's never gonna be easy if it's worth it. So I really, and I'm speaking probably for Josh as well, like I can't say I've ever felt like giving up. It's something we love to do and, and yeah. So to add on to that point, right now it seems to be a trend that a lot of YouTubers are going, this is too hard, I'm quitting, or I need a week off or two weeks off. And I think that really goes about the kind of person you are. So some people can do that nine to five and they love having an allocated time slot where they know they work when they're off. I really don't mind having a hundred things over my head that I know I need to be accountable for and that I need to do and yes, all the time with YouTube you don't really get a break because it's like I do need to upload, I need to interact with fans, I need to be thinking of better and more engaging content and there's always something you need to be doing but I really do like that lifestyle. So because of that, not so much and even I find YouTubers look too hard to what people want from them as opposed to what they can give. Like one YouTuber, I'm not going to name him. <laughs> he, uh, he made a whole video saying, what do you guys want? What do you want me to do? Like, that just doesn't make sense to me, to be honest, because I feel like if it's your channel, you're displaying your life and you're showing your outtake on the world and your opinions and what you want to display and convey to help people, to do it for whatever reasons you are. Some people use it for other reasons, but that's the way we do it. We just try to help people make really fun content and have great lived experience. We've got a question from Calgary, Alberta. Natty, 100% and proud. 110%. 150%. Buddy, I'm super natural. We are full natural, straight natty for life. Your question is, do you think it is good or bad thing to correct somebody you don't know for using bad form in the gym? This is something I struggle with. Uh, I really, it depends on the person to me. If it's a girl, usually I'll let her be because that can be taken in the wrong way and it always will be. And I find guys just, they think it's their end to like go correct a girl's form, but you're just gonna tick them off because like, 
I'm sure they get it enough, right? So if it's a girl, I'll usually let her be, unless someone asks me. Most people too, unless it's extremely detrimental or they look newer, I'll tend to let them be because someone doesn't want someone coming up. Even people with me, I've done like different exercises and they've tried to correct me and I'm like, no, I'm not doing what you think I'm doing. Doing this, like an example, straight arm lat pull down, people be like, that's not how you do tricep extensions, bro. And it's like, shut up, just like let me work out, like chill with that. And I find like, you really just have to gauge. But if you can like actually do it in a sincere way where you think you're gonna help someone, it's good. Even like the guys that come up and go, stop deadlifting 500, you're gonna hurt your back. It's not adding anything, you don't know my story. So I'd be careful with it. Headphones in, don't bug them. Bro, no, my shoe blends in with this floor. <laughs> Camo. Who is your favorite rapper? Ice JJ Fish, 100%. Looks like we found the box jump, finally. Every gym, we need to uh, find some kind of thing. So this is pretty high, but saying so it's really low, we've done to about close to our chin running. So I think this shouldn't be an issue. But like something like this, not much of an issue. It's so weird that there's no space underneath that. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it trips me out a little bit. All right, from Ridgewood, New Jersey. At what point in terms of weight, strength, time, etc., would you guys recommend switching from beginner routine, uh, focus on compound lifts, to a routine with more movements? As summing a goal of power building. Love the content, guys. Respect. As for that, so newer lifters, I highly recommend, yeah, doing your compounds if you feel comfortable, doing a lot of back, a lot of legs, squatting, deadlifting, benching. Those should be your staples. Uh, definitely doing some hypertrophy, but you can increase the hypertrophy to push you closer to your MRV as you progress. But earlier on, start a little bit lower, get in good workouts, don't do like 20 things, burn out early, hate the gym, just make sure you're killing it, get stronger in every exercise. Once you find you're doing that fluently and you still feel like you got more in you and you've been training for a while, you can start upping the volume, changing your variations of movements as you progress. Oh wow, yeah, it definitely does feel good. It, it's, a, it's very hard mentally. You're cutting it close. I know. It looks intense though. Haha, <laughs> we Gucci. Sa dude. So, why are you guys not active on Twitter? Actually, we are. I'll we've kill him. Yeah, we've been putting a lot of effort like into making sure we have top notch tweets and we're super active with anyone who tweets us. So we're doing sure. three or four tweets today, I think. Yeah, four, at least four tweets today. Make sure to check it out Colossus Fitness. Can you explain macros? I'm still trying to understand this. From Cartersville. All right, good question. This is something I get. What is if it fits your macros? How do you guys eat junk food? Still stay shredded. How do you lose weight, etc., etc.? So we've kind of figured out an elevator pitch. But what we say is it's like a puzzle, okay? So your total caloric intake is like a puzzle. Now what you need to do is find the appropriate pieces to fit this puzzle. So to actually complete your puzzle, you'll need a certain amount of proteins, fats, and carbs. So assume they're all different colors. So we got red, white, and blue. Okay, America, Donald Trump, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. Y'all are nuts. So, <laughs> so red, you need to have a certain amount, so your carbs, whatever, protein, certain amount, and then all together it fits this picture that is your day. You have too much, you're gonna have too many pieces, you're too short, you're gonna be left feeling hungry and not satisfied. That's the simplest, easiest way to explain it. If you could only do one exercise for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my gosh, wow. BOSU ball squats what? for sure. Sorry? BOSU ball squats yeah, for me. You know what I'd do? I'd probably do a BOSU ball squat, one leg while curling, because that way you're getting the best of both worlds, right? So, I'm a pretty rational person, so coming back on it, if I was only allowed to do one, it'd have to be squat. I find that I'm getting like the best build and the best bang for my buck. Wouldn't be like, it's not my favorite, but I know like, if I just squatted, I'd actually still see some progression. On a side note, this is gonna be pretty lit. Throw the ball to the target, goes down, and then right back. Okay, so, we've been saying Sadu because we think it's a joke. Someone literally just commented, Sadu. Where's he from? Oh, England. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. That's, <laughs> we, ne we never say it, but we've just been saying it's a joke. I, saw, I watched a video of people doing it, it's pretty funny. Sadu, dude. Sadu. Sadu. Sadu.
<laughs> Goals and dreams for Colossus Fitness in 2017. We would definitely like to hit 100,000 subscribers. I think it's very achievable and realistic. That's um, light. On top of that, I think we'd like to just continue to build amazing relationships with everyone that watches our videos uh, and just build our client base as well and make sure that they're achieving the best results possible. What are your favorite meals at Nando's? Okay, so we've had a lot of experience now. We've gone a lot of different directions. Double chicken pita with a side, a Nando size, a big one of those sweet potato wedges. You can't go wrong. Amazing macros, phenomenal. So much protein, it just tastes delicious. It's been our go-to. Josh and Kyle, what is one thing that the other does that annoys you the most? Uh, I guess we'll answer this for each other. So personally, I know Josh would say this about me. Uh, I like, I forget a lot of things. Um, I'd probably lose my head if it wasn't attached to my body. And in the change room and everything else, I always take like two extra minutes to set up here to start doing the deadlifts. And uh, Josh is more like, all right, let's go, let's go. And for me, I know that definitely annoys him. So I'll try to work on it. You got it, bro. <laughs> all right, I, I know what yours would be. All right, all right. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. So me and Kyle joke around a lot, but sometimes he gets serious and he gets kind of ticked off. And I guess I can push his buttons a little bit more than I should when I know he's ticked because it's kind of fun to see as bad as that is. I think you'd agree with that, right? Yeah. So I'd say that's probably my, uh, my bad thing, but what can you do, right? It's all good. Oh, I remember what I do that ticks you off. What? I zoom in on your oh. face and take pictures of your face. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> How do you motivate yourself to keep exercising in order to shape your body? I find I don't really need to motivate myself. It's literally just a lifestyle. It's something I enjoy. So really no motivation needed. And just really got to find like deep down what it is you want and you'll be able to do it. All right, done another one. Long jump and flat. So this is something you guys can try too. <laughs> wow. It's pretty big. Not crazy, but. Let's see it. That does not look easy. It's not, it's pretty beastly. sum this up from what I see. Okay, yeah, he's basically saying it fits your macros versus intuitive eating if you're not a non-competitor. In my opinion, intuitive eating is something you need to be very professional to do. I'd like to say I could, but I don't think I could. As well as I can gauge, I think you need to build up to that point. Especially if you're somebody who's gonna be bulking and cutting a lot, you can't. But if you're like, I am where I wanna be, I'm gonna maintain this, especially if you're a bit older, then I would say maybe, but unless you've been doing it for like, five to 10 years. That's not to say for everyone, but that's my personal opinion because intuitive eating is very dangerous. You can do it good for six days, but one day you blow to six. Like for me, I've kind of come to realize that like I could eat 5,000 calories every day very comfortably, but I need to have some control mechanism and I like knowing the allocations I have for each meal. Okay, so there's actually like 100 questions at least in here. So we're just gonna answer some of the ones like that we do quick and that we find we have a really good answer to. So don't feel sad if we didn't answer. How old are you fellas from Etobicoke, Canada? Not too far from us. We're both 21 years old. Uh, where do you guys grow up and do you ever plan to make trips to the US? So I'm guessing this is a newer subscriber. Uh, we grew up in Toronto, Terry, that's where we still reside and live. That's Canada, Toronto Raptors, Drake, Weekend. That's kind of what we're known for down here. Uh, it's a pretty cool place. We go to the States a lot. We like to go for collabs. We've gone for a couple expos. We have no immediate plans, but we definitely like to make a trip soon. Do you recommend IIFYM for women? Yes. Final answer. I Done. It's great for everyone to be utilizing. How important are rest days for recovery? Very important. <laughs> make sure, uh, don't be too afraid to rest. When are you guys doing the 20,000 calorie challenge? If you guys can get that video, that's gonna be in the description of our 15,000 calorie challenge to 20,000 likes, we'll make sure to do it. I'm not looking forward to it if it happens. I probably will die, but if you guys can get us there, then we'll do it. Um, best tricep exercise, close your bench. Do you guys have a basic Excel file to help keep your schedule diet in place? Apps that you use, yes. Um, we have an Excel spreadsheet that we use for clients as well, and we use MyFitnessPal for tracking our calories. What are your go-to mobility drills? Uh, check the description. We've made a really good video on all the mobilities we do uh, before and after, so static, everything, ballistic. 
Would you guys say that gym memberships are your guilty pleasure? How many different gyms do you guys go to? Oh wow, is <laughs> this eight? Now, like, this is eight. What? Is this eight? Yeah, probably like eight, but the reason why we're super pumped about this is because, uh, like Josh was explaining before, this is going to be probably, at, you know, more or less the only gym that we go to, and we'll be able to film in, deadlift heavy, and it just has like everything we need, so. Yeah, <laughs> they are a guilty pleasure though. This is gonna be our very last question. This is one we got like eight times. Any advice for a person trying to start their own YouTube channel and get in the fitness community like you guys have? I wish I could have told this to myself a year ago. Okay, but two things. This is all you need to know if you wanna grow on YouTube, and it's the reason why we doubled our growth in the last month. So, first of all, produce good content. Second of all, don't skip lines, don't cheap out on anything. Case in point, we made such crappy videos because we just slapped it together and be like, oh, people want to watch this. If you don't want to watch it, no one's going to want to watch it. Every piece of content you make should be something you're proud of and that you feel is really good, the best of your ability. Don't be like, hey guys, like we're doing, we're cute. If people are around, like you got to be confident, you got to be yourself, you got to get a good camera. We went through an iPhone filming the wrong way to filming with an iPhone sideways to a friggin' GoPro where you couldn't hear anything to a T5i, which was a headache in itself. I wish like I just spent like 1500 bucks, got a good thing, and this goes for life. Kyle bought four Bluetooth speakers and he doesn't use any of them because they're all crap. If you just do things right and you do it right the first time and you're not cutting corners, people will love your channel and you become a big channel really quick as opposed to making 100 videos that get you nowhere. I really hope that helps because that's something I'm I've just started to see myself, which is really sad, but I find that that will help a lot of you guys and a lot of you guys with the channel. Thanks so much for uh, checking out our new spot around here. Uh, we went a little clickbait because that's what you gotta do too. Don't spend time crapping out on your thumbnails and your titles and just making, we produce good videos, we spend five hours editing, no one will watch them because it's a boring title and thumbnail. So that's my rant. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. We love you all, thanks for the questions. The winner of the sweater is Monica DeSanto. She's from Toronto, which is pretty cool. We draw it, it's random, that's the way she goes. We had like a couple thousand entries or something. I don't even know, but it was a really good draw. Enjoy that sweater, Monica. We will contact you if you guys want like text and image versions of the winner. It's all on our Facebook and other media pages. Everything's in the description. Peace. What's up, guys? This is the change room. Uh, no one's in here, so don't worry. <laughs> but it's pretty sick. Some new ideas and blockers. So you're set. Change rooms if you don't want to be letting it all out. Some nice seats. All the essentials.